Let's jump into a little Q&A. Not meme, late to the party, that's okay. You can't catch them all, meme. And Matthew Smead is not a, let me see here. Who wants a wrench? Whoops. We call this the wrench party. Rob, did you watch Ted Lasso? I did watch Ted Lasso. I love it. I hope they come out with a third season soon. Oh, James, if James did a live stream at this point, I don't know why he does them so early. That's okay. Uh, Matthew Smead. That is a moderator. Good for you. Pie Hunter is back again. Pie Hunter thinks I avoid that. I don't avoid anybody. I swear. Okay. <laughs> Darth Mike has earned his... Where did Darth Mike go? Aha. Here we are. Congratulations, Darth. And Zeno's trip, uh, I haven't seen enough. Sorry. Jared, well, getting a wrench might be a cool kid too. Probably not. But it's just fun. All right. <laughs> Will Shen says, by the way, you started before James' day. Ah, that's good. So much information. So much information. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Without a doubt. <laughs> 599 mods, 600 viewers. Beardy is a hex whale, apparently. Any opinions on Meld? I like Meld. Let's see how, where it's going. They're going through the process of building. But uh, borrowing on their platform and lending uh, looks to be doing what... Oh, looks to be making that that step however are they going to upgrade for the i'm sure they're upgrading for the for the vasal upgrade but uh as far as i know the one that's going live before everything because because the, the vasal upgrade is uh, the 22nd and we just did a piece on uh a ave however you want to call it for uh, uh lending and borrowing platform built on cardano then they're going to be the first uh with the upgrade so we'll see Brad said, is what you have stuck on Celsius in the earn program or loan collateral? So you got to remember, uh, I did a loan for uh, the house in Puerto Rico and I put up a good amount of Ethereum and uh, I got margin call after margin call as things started to go down and down and down. I feel those margin calls. Unfortunately, when I was in Spain and the UK for uh, Guy's event, I was uh, in between some areas and I missed the margin call and they liquidated me. Whose fault is that? That's my fault. I should have been on top of it. I wasn't. They liquidated me when Ethereum was $2,200. And uh, see, I never understood the what people would say is, Rob, you got to take a loan out, take that money, and buy more crypto. And then you should be good because it's going to keep going up. And I was like, you don't think that's how it works. So I took that loan, and I put it into an asset called a house and my real estate. And uh, that house, I also rented out an Airbnb. So it's an asset, not a liability. And uh, yes, I did get liquidated. And uh, yes, it was a taxable event. It's a bummer. However, I still have an asset for it. So that's what it is. And as far as the earned program or custody, uh, that was a big question. I was so ticked off the fact that they, <laughs> that they uh, went from the earned program to the custody because I kind of felt like they were kind of bending over backwards for the regulators. And I was like, why should I... Why should I earn when you guys couldn't earn anything? And I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it because I felt like since because I'm an institutional investor, I'm just gonna put it into leave it in custody. And then of course, as time went on, I heard all the different things. Remember, there's a timeline in the description. Went to consensus on June 9th, 10th. There was something going on with Celsius. Put a video out and I said, I can't tell you what to do, but I'm gonna tell you I'm not gonna leave anything on Celsius anymore. And it's up to you to figure out if this is something that you want to do and take it off. I've heard a lot of negative things going on. I don't trust it. And then nine hours later, everything shut down. Same thing happened with Voyager. Voyager on June 22nd. Because they're a public company, it came out that they had a loan of 600 and something million dollars to Three Arrows Capital. And I said, and it was uncollateralized. I go, I don't know about you, but I can't trust Voyager anymore. I'm going to keep using them to buy crypto, but I'm not going to keep anything on that exchange. I'm going to take it all off. 
I did leave a big chunk of VGX on there, and that was my fault, and, um, but I took the majority of it off, and here we are. So these are the lessons that, uh, that come through. Nah, Jarky for president, yes. Okay. Yeah. I got grandfather in earn. It turned out to be not a blessing. Yeah. Well, like I said, like if they go through with that and they want to do that, that function, that business model, people will remember. They won't remember Celsius. Like Kelvin, is that the same thing? I don't know. Pretty good marketing. I see it in social media. I see it in here and there. I don't see it on digital asset news, but whatever. And probably do pretty well. And that's it. <laughs> As usual. Hey, man, you showed up. That's good. Hey, Rob, sales question of Canada. And in Canada, there wasn't an earn or custody program. And remember, this earn versus custody was only in, the, in, only in the States because of the regulators. What are the chances I get my money back? I think, I still think there's a pretty good chance we get our money back. The big question is, do you want to take the haircut? Which I think is going to come out. And also in that video or in that audio leak, uh, they also talked about how they're going to start to make moves in November. I don't see how they're possibly going to do that because they're going through the bankruptcy, but whatever. Um, I think it's either coming down to this, take a haircut, 50%, 60%, somewhere around there, or stick it out and then just uh, you know, wait for them to pay you back through the Bitcoin mining operation, which is shaky, which probably won't be profitable for at least a couple of years. Or this new business, Kelvin, where they start to uh, generate revenue from swaps and trades and uh, multi-sig wallet functions and things like that. So we'll see. Uh, Celsius is really scratchy. That's true. But some people think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> 608 viewers, stickers and members says goodbye, Jarky. Thank you, Jarky. We appreciate it. If you don't know Jarky, he's awesome. He's handing out handing out uh memberships like i hand out wrenches in this channel it's great uh i took that one okay so takes it says i took crypto off celsius about a month before them pausing withdrawals what's this i hear about clawbacks um so the clawbacks is they're saying and this is this is a legal process they're saying oh we can claw back anything that people took out within 90 days the legal ramifications don't actually support that. And this, there was a good post by uh, Simon Dixon about why that actually couldn't happen. But uh, to think that it would, first of all, good luck getting crypto back from me. I don't know what happened. There was a boating accident, ledger, waves and dolphins, I can't remember, gone. So good luck if, it, if they even try. <laughs> When daily sweatcoin talk, man, I've said enough about sweatcoin. If you guys missed it, you missed it. That's it. Robert says your assets are absolutely frozen. Count very good, very planned words, very nice, very nice. Robert, golf clap. Uh, <laughs> Kelvin, because you can actually get the absolute zero. These are gold. Rick's got a good question. Again, do you think your Celsius withdrawal will be subject to a clawback? Again, Rick, I just don't see how. First of all, if they want to move forward with this new company, good luck with that, with them clawing back from their customers and saying, no, 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 that's ours. Your crypto is our crypto. The optics of that are awful. If they do that, I will talk about them nonstop 24-7. Oh, you're welcome, Nathan. No problem. Trezor, mandatory myocarditis. Very nice. So that's a good name. <laughs> Has Alex ever heard of a ledger? I'm not trusting about my crypto. But here's the problem. You're too. This is this is the this is the philosophy. You're like he's, he's like people are too dumb to understand how to do uh, a ledger. Look, I thought an email was complex when it came around. I thought some you know when when Amazon first came around, I thought that was a little bit complex. I thought driving was complex. I thought doing a, U a YouTube channel was complex. It just takes a little bit of time. And then that's it. It's like uh, teaching your grandmother how to you know, send an email the first time. The first time is kind of tricky. After that, it's just second nature. <laughs> 
Zeno says, I haven't left my house. Damn, I watched this. Video. That's a lot of steps, man. Uh, solicitating a guess opinion. What's your guess as to the Voyager outcome? I always thought that, that Voyager had a much better option uh, than, than Celsius did. I thought there was a lot of interest. There's a lot of customers. And uh, just for, it was interesting what one of the gentlemen said on the Celsius leaked audio. And he said how they had millions of people. And they said, even with those millions of people, 80, 90% are gonna be gone. Even if we had 10%, it's still much larger than most crypto companies out there. And I thought about, and he said, who, what startup wouldn't love that? And I thought about it and I said, you know, if Voyager is the same way, if they say, look, you already have people built in. And of course, you know, you made that uncollateralized loan of three hours capital. I get it. I understand why they did it. Well, not a great move, but it was what it is. And it became, it became insolvent. But if you could take all those customers and roll them into something else that they do or into their exchange, why not? I think everybody's going to find a home at some point. Oh, look at that. Do Kwan issued an arrest warrant. I heard about that. Let's see if they can find him. Ah, uh, yeah. It's worse than you think. Darth Mike. Darth Mike might be right, actually. Hope for the best, expect the worst. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Uh, what password manager? Safe is to write it down and hide in a couple of different locations. Yeah. Like my mnemonic phrases, uh, I have two books. I have those stone books, link in the description. And uh, I've got one here with me, and I have one in my bank account, or my uh, safety deposit box. So, you know, that's it. And some people say, that's crazy. Why would you leave it in, in your bank? I think I'll be okay. I mean, if somebody goes to the bank and rips that off, sure. You could. I lost all my units in a boating accident. <laughs> They'll have to break my ledger to get the Bitcoin back. Yes. Uh, who else is heavy waiting on 14K? I think everybody's waiting on 14K Bitcoin. All of us. All the non-tourists that are here right now. Mm, hey, Capricorn. That is good. <sighs> Nick's got a good point. Uh, Bitcoin... All-time high, 80%. From all-time high is 80% soon. So if we go down 80%, you're looking at around 14, 15K, somewhere around there. Uh, because right now we're at around 71%, 70, 71%. And falling. Beardy had a pretty good joke this morning. He said, this is your last chance to buy Bitcoin under 20K until the next time. And uh, it's true. So like if we go down to 80%, I still think we can go to 85%, which is around 10K. But that's some people think I'm crazy and it's okay because I just think to myself, well, if it goes on to that, that point, I just put in more of my dollar cost average uh, scheme. And uh, if I'm right, it's good news for me. If I'm wrong, well, I'm still dollar cost averaging every day. I buy Bitcoin every single day, just not as much as I used to because I'm unsure about what's going on. And I also buy some alts and me and Ben disagree on that part. Me and James disagree on, the, on some other parts and I disagree with a lot of other people about that. But uh, it's just me to keep myself in my lane uh, and what I do. The big question is then, because everybody talks about this. We talked about this yesterday. Everybody wants to, to tell you to dollar cost average, buy and hold, diamond hands forever. And I talked about this yesterday. I don't think that's the right way to go about it. I think at some point you got to sell. You got to sell. And uh, let's just put it out like this. Like, the, you know, the rules we talk about all the time, right? Rules. Let me get Nick out of here. Sorry, Nick. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Everything's a scam until proven otherwise. Don't leave anything in exchanges. Don't use leverage and take profits along the way because nobody ever went broke taking profits. So I'm putting out a video either this Saturday or next Saturday about my specific plan to take profits along the way using some pretty good factors from looking to Bitcoin and Ben's website into the cryptoverse. And uh, if you just look at these things over time, over the last 11, 12 years, you're not going to time it perfectly. That's okay. But if you get around 60 to 80% of the top, not too bad. And if you're going to layer in, why don't you just layer out? 
I think it's the safest way to go. That's just me. <laughs> Listen to the meme. She gets better advice. Yes. Yeah. David says, talk to me about Sweatcoin when they can link it with a Fitbit. I asked this to Oleg specifically, and he said, no, nah, because we're not going to use Fitbit because it's, it's too easy to, to, to game the system. So that's what he says. I don't know. Bankruptcy says lots of fake trading on exchanges. Very true. I just saw a guy's video where he talks about how in 2019, they figured that between 90 and 95% of all transactions were fake. So that's something to be to consider. Yeah, if you don't sell, you're simply giving away your money. And this is, a, this is I know some people say, but probably don't understand the dollar is going to collapse and we're all going to use crypto. So you have to use crypto and you have to store as much as possible. And that may be true. That's why when I'm talking about this plan, like when I dollar cost average in and dollar cost average out, I never sell 100% of all my crypto. That Mad Max scenario could at some point actually come to fruition. I'm not saying it can't. I'm just saying that the likelihood isn't super great in the next, I don't know, two, three years. So if we take a look at that, if, if the goal really is to accumulate as much crypto as possible or Bitcoin as possible or Ethereum or tomato coin or whatever you're into, then wouldn't it behoove you just to go, well, we're in these natural cycles. We can take a look when things are super overheated. We can sell off a little bit, take some profits along the way, and then maybe accumulate more as time goes on. I don't know. I, th I think that's, that's uh, for me, that, that works for me. It doesn't work for everybody. And I can't tell you what to do because I'm not a financial advisor. Ah, oh, we're good. Oh. Daniel says, I believe you had mentioned you had three ledgers. I do. I think I have four, actually. Any regrets? Think about getting a second ledger or a different cold wallet to buy my assets. No regrets. Because I always look at it in like a five-year, 10-year time frame, right? If, here's a prime example. You know when Cardano first came out, before the main net, before the launch, there was the test net? I had 20,000 Cardano on, this, on the Daedalus test net wallet. And when it was time to upgrade, I just didn't really... Uh, keep everything that I should have. And uh, now those 20,000 Cardano were stuck. I'll never see them again. And if I just would have done my due diligence, damn, especially when, especially when Cardano went to three bucks, that'd been nice. Uh, I, it's just these lessons you have to learn. Pain's a hell of a teacher. So when those types of things come about, you're like, well, okay, maybe I should be a little more careful next time. And just teach me to be better next time. We don't learn from experiences. We learn from reflections on experiences. That's what it's. That's what makes more sense. Thank you, Conrad. Thanks. 10K does sound crazy, and I could be wrong. 15K sounds crazy to some people. 18K sounds crazy. And I got to tell you, remember when we were at 30, 40K, and people said that we'd never go below 30? Go look on Twitter. They're all over the place. And then that happened. Then people said, it'll never go below 20K. And that happened. And then they said, well, what about 18K? And that happened. So is it, is it too off-putting to think about that? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Shane. Not watching live clawback. What are they going to do? Come to my house and find my hidden ledger? Yeah. Nathan says, setting up my ledger the first time. Any tips staking? So my man... Let's just do this step by step. Go to Dan Teaches Crypto. And we all, and right now we have over 40,000 members. Pretty good, huh? And let's go to the members area. Basics. Well, I thought, oh, this is a good one. Watch the one on inflation. I do like that one, about 10 minutes. Next module, safety. Here we go. What's a crypto wallet? Setting up your nano ledger. And I, and I broke these into like, like I said, bite-sized pieces, about nine minutes for this one, six, setting up your ledger live app, six minutes, transferring crypto assets from exchange to wallet, four minutes, delete and restore. This is a big one. It's only five minutes long. Transferring crypto assets from wallet to exchange, three minutes long, and then how to update your firmware on Ledger. And that's it. So definitely follow along with those. They're up to date. That's what's up. Okay. And it's free. 
grab your wife's boyfriend and hit the like. That's good. Ah. Yeah. Kelkshits. Kelkshits. Oh, I said that right. Taking profits is a safer option. If you think the one project you invested in will be the future of finance, it is still the safer option to take profits because we can. That's just it. And you know, I'm always talking about the four year cycle. Like when I, I'm halfway, I'm more than halfway through the, the video for the taking profits. I do talk about this part where I say, I could be wrong about the four year cycles. They don't have to play out. They don't have to be like exactly at four years, but we can take, there's a lot of indicators we can take a look at to see exactly where we're at. I think even if, here's my question for everybody. Let's say you hit Bitcoin at 45,000 and you sold 80% of your Bitcoin. Would you be upset now? as it's under 20,000, I think you wouldn't be too upset. I think what's gonna happen though later on is, this is probably what'll happen. I'll put the video out, I'll say this is what I'm gonna do, people are gonna do it, they're gonna be close to the top, maybe 70%, somewhere around there, and they're gonna see it go up and go, damn it, I shouldn't listen to Rob. And that's gonna go on for a while, I'm gonna take a lot of heat, but I don't care, because you can do whatever you wanna do, not your dad. And then as, as it comes down, as it inevitably will, I think it'll work out. But uh, again, if, if I would have told you in 2021 that I sold at 45,000, would you be like, what a moron? Probably, because that was a narrative. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Joey says 11K incoming. Ah, this one. What's your favorite video? Oh, a favorite video to convince a crypto doubter? Hmm. Usually it doesn't come out of videos. Usually it comes down to me explaining about Ponzi schemes. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry, a little bit of a jet overhead. I couldn't hear anything. And because uh, the, the, the thing that I get, people always ask me is like, wasn't it a Ponzi scheme? crypto what is it you know it doesn't make any sense i go oh if you like ponzi schemes you should check out pensions and social security <laughs> so if you're okay with that then uh, crypto's got a much better option and that kind of gets them riled up yeah man i'm not a fan of yori either yoroi wall not a fan of that i almost lost 15k of cardinal's friends with yoroi i know people some people love it i just don't like it i like the Daedalus wallet. It's a pain to, to download and everything, but I like the features and it's super stable. It just takes a long time. I got time. I mean, I hope I have time. No way. Mandatory says I bought at 17 K and it was the bottom. First time I caught the exact bottom. Just luck. Maybe you're just too, uh, just talented. Christopher says, what's the safest place to keep your seed phrase? I have this book. It's not here. It's in my, in the room. Uh, it's called a, a stone book, and it looks like this. Where's the video? Ah. There's a link in the description, but I'll just show you it like this. This is what I keep it in. It's, it's waterproof, it's just not fireproof, and uh, it's not smudge-proof, so if you write in there, uh, you're going to uh, be able to see it in 10 years. So that's just the one I use. I have got two of them, like I said. Uh, that's where I keep it, because I will tell you, the, the piece of paper thing never works out real well. If you just have like a random scrap of paper, that's where, <laughs> that's where my Cardano testnet wallet <laughs> phrase is somewhere. So uh, yeah, keep it in a book like that. That's my, and then other people will say there's a better option, which is steel. And you just poke out these little, little holes. I, I've never used one, but I hear it's great. And uh, that's one of the options for you. If you just put in like a steel mnemonic phrase, you'll find it on Google. Yeah, St. Jude says, I just hope the people who need it the most get paid first. I do too for, for the Celsius issue. I do too. Yeah, Brandon's got a good point. I don't think the idea of a Fed pivot is all wrong. Maybe not as soon as they thought. Everybody thought yesterday that the uh, 
inflation rate was going to be lower. Didn't turn out that way. It's going to get out later in the budget fights this winter. U.S. will get close to default for the budget pain. Now that, if they start defaulting, poo, we'll see. Beardy says 100 bips, basis points. Psh, I'm ready. Let me ask you guys this. If we do 100 basis points and 775 like we thought it was, how much will the market react to that? Will that be price in? Meme, get out of here. You got stuff to do. Yeah, and Capo says, I think the website Danish Crypto will be good for beginners. It's good for beginners. It really is. And that's why I made it. I'm not here to do super complex things and, and talk about uh, yield preservation and uh, get into like some really crazy stuff. I just do that. The only thing that I, I have added is like uh, some metaverse videos we did and then just some random videos that uh, just explain things a little bit more. Rob, do you sell member info? Every single one of you. I sell, as soon as you sign up, I go right to Facebook and go, hey, do you want to advertise some people? I got like 40,000 of them. No. What's the point of that? No. Why would you? S I don't understand why people would do that. I guess you could make some money. I do okay. I'm all right. I mean, I'm able to afford this beautiful green screen. So it's, good, it's working out. <laughs> Funny golfer. Yeah, Norman, here you are. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, I did a good video on Tracer was uh, James the best answers. I would, I would check with that one. Don't need to reinvent the wheel. But I am going to do a couple more videos about um, how to link up your ledger for third-party wallets, such as uh, Near and some other ones like that. Yeah, I went parole for Do Kwan. You're welcome, Nathan. Whew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Norman. Okay, guys, I think we're good. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Yeah. Yeah. You can use whatever nickname you want to. Like, man's, like, my name and in, 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 the website is just Dan. That's not my real name. So anyhow, so that's it. So everybody, uh, thanks so much for stopping by. I think we did a lot of things. Remember, we're going to be over at the uh, watch party, merge pants party something uh, for Crypto Slate. And uh, we're just going to talk about what's going on and what things to expect. I'm just curious about the forks and the airdrops. So check it out, link in the description. That's all we got today. So like today's video... A like would go a long way. That's it. So thanks everybody for stopping by. I do appreciate it. fun times. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.